can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and in today's video we got a lot of things that's going on. First things first, uh, I have no other cars. It's officially, it's officially official. Currently the only car that I have right now is the i8. So I guess that means we're gonna have to modify. If you don't have a modified car, you're not a true enthusiast. <laughs> and I'm gonna be basically voiding my warranty. So yes guys, it's official. The 435, I no longer own it. Let me take you guys to yesterday on uh, what happened exactly with the 435. So it started off with just meeting some followers that said they want to check out the car. We met up, they checked out the car, they absolutely loved it. I mean, who can't love copper? That thing was beautiful. Even with stock wheels and stock suspension, it was still gorgeous. But they wanted to take it the ultra safe route. Normally when I sell cars, people typically just come, they pay me, they take the car, bada bing, bada bang, they, they, they're just gone. But these guys, um, they wanted a lot more than that, which I don't blame them, which I don't blame them. They are subscribers of mine. At the same time, they did want to make sure they get a good car because it did have high mileage 157 so they wanted to make sure the car was going to be able to legally drive in california and that it's safe so the first place we head to was uh the smog we went down to smog we tried smog in the car and unfortunately the systems came back as not ready luckily it was nothing major but it said not ready so the car was unable to be smogged right then and there we started our journey at 1 p.m so then we headed down straight to do a diagnostic to at least drive the car the reason the systems weren't ready is because we took out the seats the day Prior, so we had to unplug the battery. So pretty much the, the battery was undone. We we needed to drive the car. So we drove it down to diagnostics and uh, we basically were at BMW. Then we looked at the bank and the bank closes in about one hour. So we're like, okay, so we won't have time to go smog and then go get the money. So let's go ahead and get the money. So I stayed there at BMW. I was just pretty much chilling there waiting, looking at my beautiful 435 and they went to go get the cash. This is the first time I actually saw my 435 on a lift at BMW, let alone my car ever being at BMW. So the previous owner did take care of the car entirely at BMW. But you know your boy, your boy has to do them self DIYs because I gotta show you guys how to own a BMW or, a, a, you know. Anywho guys, I know my, my haircut is really weird. It's actually not a haircut, it's just cause I had a beanie on my head and I, I look really funky. Fix that up real quick. Bada bing, bada bang. All right, I think, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, right after then, he got the cash. He met me at BMW. We went ahead, got the car, and we sat down with the guy that inspected the car. And I was scared because my, might I mind you guys, I don't know if you guys remember my first BMW, which is the 330i, was the only car I got diagnosed at BMW, and I came back with a list like this, this big, it was absolutely insane. And it said my car had $10,000 worth of issues. Now this is BMW, if they see a speck of dirt, They'll be like, okay, that needs to be uh, replaced. That's ha it has wear and tear. And basically, they came to us with a list this big with the 435. Because, you know, your boy really took care of that car because he was intending on keeping it. Just like the 135, I took care of both of those cars really, really, really well because I intended on keeping those cars. So when they diagnosed it, they said the only thing is that, that the engine mounts were sagging. They weren't even cracked. They weren't anything. They said it's just normal wear and tear, something that we mind telling you. The differential bushings was sagging slightly also so overall it wasn't that bad and then one other thing was that a slight oil leak issue and that's just typical i mean it was actually a very minor one it wasn't even the oil pan apparently so that was very good and they didn't even dig me for the muffled delete i don't know why but i think because they knew that we knew it had a muffled delete so they were like why i mention it so right after then we got the diagnostics he was happy i was happy we went ahead and zoomed to smog because we need to make sure this car gets smogged it was five Exactly five from what I recall. And the smog places closes at five. So I went ahead and gave him a call. I was like, hey, I'm gonna be there in about five minutes. Please stay open. They told me we're gonna be closing. We can't stay any time over five because then I have to be paid extra time and his boss doesn't like that. I was like, please, this guy came from Oakland about two hours. I really need you guys to just keep the place open for another five minutes. If we get there in five minutes, can you please just re-smog? The car should be ready. He's like, okay, you guys got five minutes. And I was like, okay, so me and him, we just pretty much looked at him and we're like, okay, we gotta go. We started hustling down there. We got there exactly at 505. He's literally at the gate about to pull it down. So uh, did we pass? I think we passed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out oh to my John. god. Shout out to John and Laguna Smart Test, man. For real, he literally came in clutch for us. All right, guys, we gotta head out of here now. 
So yeah, now the car was officially 100% ready to go. He was 100% ready to pick up the car. We came back here. He tried to negotiate with me, but I wouldn't let it go for anything under 14. He did end up coming at me with 13.9 eventually, and we just decided to just go with that because he did pay for the smog, and that's something I should have paid for. So all in all, 13.9 is what I got for the car. I'm happy that I was able to part it out and get you guys a lot of good deals as well because if I would have had to sell all those models with the car, I think at most I would have got 16 to 17,000. So I'm so happy I was able to sell it to you guys for good deals, and I made a good amount of money back so now it is officially time to look for the new m build but in the meantime i did remove my saving bmw plates off of the 435 got it re-registered to be on this car i went down to the dmv it's called actually i regs a lot of you guys have been asking what kind of dmv lady i go to she's amazing located here in Elk Grove, quick DMV. Yeah, she has a fee, but oh my God, I, I can't tell you guys how much paying the fee is well worth not having to wait at a DMV. You literally in and out, get your car registered, get your car, whatever. She's amazing. And now, 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 now literally, and in, in, in literally in about an hour this morning, I literally drove there, got it done, came back. All of that was like less than an hour. And now I put the same BMW plates on. So let's go ahead and uh, swap out these dealer plates. Out with the old, in with the new, guys. Registered for a full year, new tags, new plates. I'm super stoked for this, oh my god. This looks so good already. Again, guys, if you want her contact information to register your car, she's not paying me to say this. She's just literally amazing. Makes my life a whole lot easier. So I also want to make your guys' life a whole lot easier and also just help her. So check her out. Her information is going to be down below. If you guys are going to register a car, you're trying to be in and out real quick, you're local to Elk Grove, Sacramento area, make sure to swing by her. Again, all of her contact information is going to be down below, including the address of the plate. But yeah, as soon as I got the new plates on the car, we went ahead and we got some Chipotle. I mean, it's just normal stuff. You know, if Nor doesn't get Chipotle, Nor is not optimizing at full levels at normal operating temperatures. Just to fill in with some of the plans, guys, on this car, we went ahead and we ordered some new wheels. Now, I absolutely despise these wheels. Some of you guys actually like it. Some of you guys actually told me in person that you like these wheels. I don't like them once over. So we had to order some new wheels, which I would not be saying exactly what it is, but let's just say it's a new style. This reel was just dropped about two or three weeks ago, and I want to be one of the first to have it on Instagram. So I went ahead and copped these wheels, super excited about them, and we're going to have to get some tires. Either we should go with Michelin's or Goodyear's, but we have to go with Run Flats. I'm not going to cheap out on this car once over. We might actually have to go with Bridgestones as well, because those are really good. Ah, uh -huh, man, this is going to be tough. Maybe Bridgestones, because typically BMW, they like going with the Bridgestones Run Flats. They just, they just do. So if BMW goes with those, your man might need to go with those. And that's not the only thing your man ordered. Your man ordered a brand new wheel from Ozza. So I've never seen an i8 with a custom steering wheel. Every i8 comes with the exact same steering wheel. So I said, you know what? Let's do something unique and get a new steering wheel. So we do have that incoming. I'm super excited for that. It's literally one of one, completely custom. It looks insane. I think I've never made a wheel like this wheel. I think I want full options on this wheel. So I'm super stoked for it. Once it comes, you guys will see the transformation. I am stoked. I'm stoked. Because I'm not going to lie, this blue line around the steering wheel and this steering wheel just looks kind of tacky. I don't, I don't like this at all. It does feel nice but I don't like this steering wheel, it's gotta go. All that being said though, um, we have some carbon for the i8. Now, I don't know if we're gonna be installing it in this video, mainly because we had a lot of sequential events that happened in this video, but I am curious to see what exactly did I order? I hit up Keys before they even had the carbon fiber parts on their website, and I basically said I need some side splitters, I need a front lip, a rear diffuser, and a spoiler. I don't think the spoiler came in just yet, but I told them I need these mods. I don't even exactly know what style I ordered, but you hooked it up with a good deal for me so I can show you guys what kind of products they have. And they are in these two boxes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just, just cut these suckers open. You're special and you're reckless. You're my best best friend. All right, now we're gonna have to separate these two boxes. Let's see how long this is gonna take me to do that. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be crazy. Guys, look at the amount of carbon that's inside of this box. First off, I don't even know what this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Okay, I know exactly what this is. This is the side skirt. So this is gonna be crazy. Oh, let's go ahead and just put that over here. This just has to be the front lip. I'm pretty sure this is the front lip. Oh my God, this is huge. And then this one has to also be the other side skirt. Now before we actually open all these up, let's go ahead and just check out what's in that box. I think it's just the diffuser. 
Guys, this has to be the front lip. So we have the carbon fiber front lip right here. I'm assuming this is the front lip. It is super thick and aggressive. That has to be the diffuser and those have to be the side skirts. So we're just missing the spoiler but um, I'm gonna have to spoil this. Let's go ahead and show you guys what kind of carbon fiber pieces we got for this car because I'm pretty stoked for it. Everything you want and think about. No, I got your back all the way. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of you. Oh, yeah. Like how you do it alright. Everything good. Oh my god, guys. Like how you think alright. Okay guys, wait a second. I've never seen a side skirt extension that has this type of arrow on it. This is insane. This is probably Keys' Motorsports' custom touch to it. <laughs> oh my God, it is so beautiful. And on top of that, this carbon fiber lip is just, dude, guys, it is just, the whole thing is carbon. It's not like filled in or anything. This, the whole thing is carbon fiber. The quality is absolutely insane. Even comes with the screws and everything and their brand new key tag. I'm just too excited. Even has this side thing. Oh my God, it's so sick. Oh my God. Okay, let's go ahead and just get the other side skirt out and, and then we have to set it all up right here. I need a thumbnail. This is so sick. Okay guys, um, I'm absolutely done. I'm absolutely done. In terms of quality, guys, this even has its own number. Like I cannot express to you guys the quality of this carbon. Like, oh my God, guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the diffuser and I I'm literally speechless at this point. Here's all the carbon pretty much just chilling. The arrow is insane. Now, when I said I'm gonna send it on this car, guys, I told you guys I'm sending it. Now, I know I have a warranty on it and we're gonna have to discuss that in a future video, but I can't wait a year for that warranty to be done. I, I literally can't. I mean, you only live once. You know, you have to enjoy life every step of the way. All right, guys, and if you think I'm over-exaggerating, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna text my brother to come downstairs and look at this carbon and you guys will see his genuine reaction. Okay, what do you think of the quality of this carbon? Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> looks like a Batman wing. <laughs> that's not even the wings, that's the diffuser. No, no, yeah, I know. That's the diffuser. Look at look at the side skirts. You see the arrow on the side skirts? Yeah, damn, dude. All right, guys, so my brother decided we're gonna put on the diffuser first. Go ahead and just, just show him all the edges, dude. Yeah, I like, I haven't shown him to him in this big of an angle, but look at the curvature, like, oh my God, guys, this thing, doesn't the quality just yeah, like, it's insane quality. Shout out to Keys, guys. This is insane quality. So even the, like glass. look at all the 3M too he added. Like it's just oh my god. I cannot wait to wipe the rear. We're gonna wipe the rear, put all this on, and then pretty much put in all the screws. It comes with hardware, thank the Lord. And uh, we're put on the, the 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 front lip and the side skirt extensions probably in the next video because me and my brother have to head out. But meantime, I literally just unbox all these and we have to put something on. So if I say anything, I have to put on that diffuser. All right, guys. So at this point, yeah. Are you ready to put on this diffuser? I'm, I'm set. All right, he's ready. So if he's ready and I'm ready, we're putting on this. We're putting on the freaking diffuser. I'm so excited, guys. This thing's absolutely stunning. And I, it literally is going to change up the rerun. I've never been a fan of the rerun of the i8, but I have a feeling he's going to change it. And as soon as the spoiler comes in, too, it's going to change it entirely. We're still waiting on the spoiler, which I, I mean, after seeing this stuff, I am so excited. But yeah, smash the like button if you guys want to see the, spo the, the side skirt extensions and the lip go on literally in the next video. Smash the like button. I'll put it all in the same video. I won't spread it out in any other kind of videos. All that will go on same video. Smash that like button, guys. First things first, guys, we're going to have to give it a good little wipe down. So uh, let's go ahead and wipe it down. And then it should be as easy as just mounting it. I'm hoping the fitment is absolutely as gorgeous as it looks. So I guess we'll find out. Out of the car now. Um, we're gonna be, I guess, using OEM hardware to put everything back into place, which is great. We gave, we gave it a good wipe down. This is the only piece that came out, so we might have to put this on the lip first before we put it on the diffuser. But uh, I guess we'll find out. We'll, we'll work it out. All right, guys. Actually, it comes with this hardware, and I think this is the right hardware for these holes. So we're gonna go ahead and just use the ones that came with the kit. Guys, look at the plate matching up with the carbon fiber. Oh my God. Guys, 
fitment is amazing. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous. Even right here, look at that line. Perfect, perfect, all the way across, all the way across. It uses basically the holes from the car, so you don't have to drill anything new into your car. And look at that, that line is even throughout the entire side, both sides, and oh my God, oh my Lord. What's crazy about this car also, guys, is that I'm screwing carbon into carbon. Like, look at this. This is what I love about the i8. The whole car is carbon. Everything is carbon. Okay, unfortunately, me and my brother do have to head out. If you guys want to see the rest of this carbon on this car, make sure to smash the like button. Me and my brother about to head out, get some errands done, and we might actually come back to film the second video. So if you guys want to see the rest of this carbon on the car, I can upload that video tomorrow because I'll be working on it later today. So get this video to 2,000 likes. I know it's huge. I know it's absolutely huge, but get, if you guys get this video to 2,000 likes, tomorrow I'll drop the video on the rest of this carbon fiber stuff right here. I know the car is gonna look absolutely insane. Um, it's already looking insane. Let's go and get the car outside though real quick and just show you guys how the car looks. Actually, no, 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 no. I think it'll be super sick to show you guys a full cinematic once it's all put together. So I think when we get all the carbon stuff put together, we're gonna go ahead and get the car outside, get a freaking amazing cinematic together for you guys. So again, if you guys want any carbon fiber stuff, if you guys have an i8 and are looking for some carbon fiber stuff, the link's gonna be down below to Keys Motorsports. If it's not on their site just yet, make sure to email them to go ahead and give you guys the links. And also use code NOR5. You guys get pretty much 5% off anything, any carbon fiber thing, anything that Keys actually sells themselves, you guys will get a discount. Bumpers, carbon, the whole shebang. So again, huge special shout out to Keys Motorsports. Also, FCP Air sent me a few things of maintenance for the i8. They are also having a huge Black Friday deal so keys motorsports and fcp Euro, huge black friday event links to both of their websites down below but without further ado guys <laughs> i love y'all so much thank you guys for making my dream a reality so huge special shout out to all you guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.